guys, Rivethead here. <clears throat> Welcome back to another episode. Cube World, oh god. Yeah, I'm doing a thing. Uh, uh, did the wrong thing. Dang it. Okay. Let's try this again. <clears throat> uh, oh my god. My microphone was at the wrong level. Everything was all goofy. All goofy, goofy, goofy. Okay. So yeah. Welcome back to Cube World, everybody. Happy Friday. Hope you enjoyed your week. Hope everything is going well. And I hope you are looking forward to the weekend as much as I am because, oh baby, I got so much planned. My spring cleaning continues this weekend. I'm going to do this. Yeah! It's because I just wanted to do it. I don't have any other reason for doing this other than I'm like, mm, let's see how far I can climb. Oh god. Dang it! Fine. We'll climb it the old fashioned way. Yeah, so I'm going to gut everything here this weekend. Um, I was planning on going out Friday before work and doing my vlog recording, but I checked the weather. Uh, here today, Thursday, is when I record this, obviously. Um, and today it was 20 degrees Celsius in good old Montreal. So if you guys don't know that, that is, that is, that is hot for March. <laughs> like... Stupid hot, like wow! So I was very excited to have it. Um, not gonna lie, it was delightful. Hot as hell in my apartment today, and because of it, I uh, haste and regens up. Yeah, we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take that. Shabam! So I did the instant flight over here. I decided I'm not gonna bother with that stupid castle of nope, 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 nope. Ah, bugs are back. As soon as it gets hot out, the bugs show up. I hate them. Frickin' bugs. Blech. They disgust me. Ooh. Now this is something I can get behind. I was curious, because I, when I was looking at it on the map, all I could see... Well, you can't see it now. It was like four little nubs. Like the, the four corners of it. That's all I could see. And I was like, hmm. You guys are just going to stand there? I'll just shoot these guys here. You can... Okay, this is delightful. Let me just destroy this. You guys, you imps. You're a bunch of bastards. You, you can't, you can't fix it. I'm breaking it all. Listen, you. Go away. There we go. Hey, we got a ruby. Did you guys get the rest of them there? Are you, everything good? Oh, hi. They, they, that was a nightmare. What the hell was that all about? Oh god, land shark. I mean, I'm not really afraid of the shark. <laughs> What's he gonna do? <laughs> Swim over to me on the land? No. Not afraid of land sharks. Never. Uh, in real life, yes. If I saw a shark on land floating around like that, I'd be like, I'm not, peace out, I'm out! I am not sticking around for that. No thank you. But land shark in cube world? No big deal. So yeah, uh, like I was saying, is today was 20 degrees centigrade, which is hot, 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 uh, delightfully warm, um, like almost 25 degrees or more in my apartment today. Don't have air conditioning set up yet, so I'm like, I'm not going to hook it up yet. I mean, I, I usually don't do it until May or June. I'm like, there is no way I'm going to put my air conditioning in in March. Um, now, mind you, it's going to get cold again here in the next couple of days. So, colder. We're getting down to zero again. But still, um, much better than this time last year. Because I remember very vividly because the pandemic had just hit. And, like, trying to do things and get anywhere. I remember I was inside the house for three weeks after the original wave. So... I'm still within that three-week period, and I remember blizzards and snowstorms and not even wanting to go out. Even when I did get to go out, it was still bloody cold, and that would have been like the end of March, early April, um, and I remember May. It, it's still being pretty freaking cold here, so yeah, this year is a hell of a lot warmer than last year, and you know, I'm, I'm okay with this. I'm, I'm more than fine. I mean, as much as I would love to have a spring, not go right into summer like it did last year, because we didn't have spring yesterday, last year. It went literally from winter to hot. And um, I, I, did, I don't like that instant transition. Now there is lore over there. I can see that. You can see that right on the horizon. See? Lore. I know lore when I see it. 
Which is fine. We can go grab it. I mean, it's in line with things. And then there's a life shrine over here. We can go do that. We've got to grab this stuff when we're here, right? We've got things to do. Oh, there's a town there. That's nice. Mana pump we did. Okay, so we got stuff. I kept the... Ooh, what are you? I want to see what you are. That is a thing. Okay, so let's do the lore and that first. I think that's a good start. That was delightful. Not what I intended to do. But it's what I did. So yeah, um, like I was saying, is that my intention is on Saturday usually, or for, sorry, Friday, is I usually try to go out and take care of the vlog if I have the opportunity. And I'm working evenings this week, so I thought, you know, I'll get up. You know, I, I've taken a couple of walks this week already, um, and i just been enjoying it. Haven't been vlogging because I was like, I don't really know what to speak about. I don't really know what to talk about. And I'm like, eh, I don't need to do this every time I go out. Like, can I just take a walk for just taking a walk sake? And that's what I kind of did. And then I look at the weather on Friday and it's going to be nice. It's going to be 10 degrees, which is delightful. It's the weather I like. I love going out in 10 degree weather, except it's going to be 100% chance of precipitation. So I'm going to double check it in the morning when I uh, get up. Um, if it's still pretty awful, I'm just going to go and, um, um, if, sorry, if it's pretty awful, I'm just going to go do laundry because that needs to be done too. But if it's okay, then I'm just going to, I'll just go, you know, and go for my walk and do the stuff. Or who knows, uh, maybe uh, this is a lot of, I mean, I, I love the, the uh, I mean, it's just delightful to know that I could do that. You just kind of round them up. Hey, you two, all three of you, and you shablam. And then it's just quick and easy. Like, that's, it, it's, you know, an efficient way of cleaning up. You're, you're gone. See, it took me longer to take that guy out than the other ones. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to either be taking my walk and doing my vlog or going and doing laundry. And if I do laundry, I'm not going to do a vlog from the laundromat because I don't spend any time in there. I go in, put my my clothing in the washing machine, and I put the timer on my phone, and I go out for my little walk. And then I come back, and that's it. You know, put it in the dryer, and I'm done. Um, but if it's going to be pouring rain, I'll be going back to my house <laughs> and then back over. And I, I hate that one because I have four flights of stairs, and I really hate my stairs here. I can't wait to get out of this fucking apartment. I'm not going to lie. This is the bane of my existence in Montreal, is this fucking apartment. I hate it so much. Um, I've been looking to get new places, so, you know, things are on the move. So, um, still waiting on word back to see if I've got a place. So, if I do, great. If I don't, great. Um, but I, it's looking more and more like everything is a go. So, if I can get that taken care of, boom, schlaka, I'm out. Um, unhappy. Uh, 100 gold. Eh, I mean, ooh, I wanted to do something over here. Where was the... I had. I have to have something over here. You'd think. Oh, I got that there. But that's not... Uh, uh, uh. Let's do this one first. No, that's closer. I don't mind this. I, I don't spend the money on anything, so I may as well spend it on things that I actually enjoy. Now let's see if we can actually land where we want to go. There's a thing on this mountain. There we go. Not half bad. I'm okay with this. This is a decent little trek. This is going to really suck if it there's nothing here. Which would be probably par for the course. Um, I've, I've, I've been eyeballing making some changes in some of the games that I've been playing. Um, like I mentioned, uh, the beginning of the month I'm doing a trip. Uh, so I, I will be... I won't be creating content while I'm gone, I'm pretty sure. Um, which is fine. I'm going to try to have some content while I'm gone. Uh, you may end up getting the VODs from Twitch from a couple years ago, which, again, not a big deal. I mean, I, 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 it's stuff that I'm going to put on the channel regardless, so it's fine to put it there. Um, 
And, you know, what better thing to do when I'm actually taking a vacation for myself is to actually take that vacation and just do things for myself and take a fucking break from the channel. Um, I really haven't done that since I started. Um, here's the thing. I have moved a couple of times. Uh, while I've had this channel, I moved once from Florida to Halifax, then once from Halifax to Montreal. And when I moved to Montreal, I didn't have internet for two weeks. And there was literally, and I, I'm not even kidding, there was two days, or no, one day without a video that I had. I had enough content made up in advance that I, and that's when I was making multiple videos a day. It wasn't just one. <laughs> so... I pounded out a bunch of stuff in advance, um, but I'm not in that same headspace. Like, I don't see... I've never really seen exponential growth from that kind of an input. Um, which, again, I'm not complaining, I'm just saying. It's like, for the effort I did, the rewards were not justified, except for me having this thing in my head of, that I needed to have it accomplished. Which is great. I mean, I wanted to maintain it, and I did that. And I'm proud of myself for doing it. This time around, I'm just taking the time off. I'm easing into uh, the vacation. I'm easing into the trip. Um, there's enough stress and pressure regardless. Um, traveling during a pandemic is less than fun. You know, it's not for the faint of heart. Um, I'm going to have to, you know, isolate for a couple of weeks when I get back. There's a bunch of things that I have to deal with, and I'm not really excited about that prospect. Uh, there's a bunch of things that I'm not really looking forward to. And why are there no mana pumps? There's supposed to be a bunch here. There's one over here. There's supposed to be two. Shall we go and do that? Let's... Where's the closest one that's here? I mean, spend the hundred bucks. So yeah, I'm looking at the, the travel. There's a couple of different options I have. Um, one is to take the train, which I adore. I love taking the train. I've done it a few times myself. Um, I, I really enjoy those traveling by train. Um, but do I really, what the hell? I mean, it's kind of hard to not say yes to this because like, it's just here. I know it's not in this biome that we're supposed to be in, I think, but I'm like, yeah, I'm okay with saying yes to this. Hi. What are you? Good? Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to be taking the time off and just going to enjoy it. Now, I will record my some vlogging stuff when I'm there. I mean, that's fully in the works and planned. Um, and I'm going to be bringing my laptop with me um, and my Xbox. And I'm going to be gaming. Because I really can't game on my old laptop. But I can game on the Xbox. And then play that with a capture card tracker to it. And the new Xbox Series S is really pretty small in comparison. So I'm like, yeah, that kind of could travel. You know, so, so I'm going to have stuff that I can do. Which is going to be fun. I don't think I'll record and stuff. I mean, I don't want... I'm, I don't know. Ooh, hi. This is going to be fun. I'm not getting that stuff. It can sink to the bottom of the ocean for all I care. I'm never getting it. Here's the thing. He's green. Not worth the time and the effort and the health that I'm going to lose to go up there and do it. So, so no. No. Um, so, yeah. Uh, excited is the understatement of the decade. Um, I'm excited to go. I'm excited to uh, socially distance see some folks. <laughs> yeah, you know. Armor and I have talked about meeting in a park. Um, I really want to film that. I, I, I have like an idea for a funny bit um, that I think could be kind of funny. Got to talk with him uh, about it, you know, see if it, what he thinks of it. Because I got a you know, couple of different options for cameras, so I can set one up on a tripod and kind of film both of us separate and like he can hold one in his hands, I can hold one in my hand type of thing. Like, I've got enough gear to do three different setups with cameras. So, you know, between the cell phone and two little handhelds, I think it could be kind of fun. Because, like, I got the Femi Palm and I got the, uh, the Osmo. Hey, do you want to come and say hi? I mean, I'm all for you coming and hanging out. Well, that actually did damage. Well, and... We got stuff. 
I'm okay with this. So, yeah. Um, and this is funny, too. It's like, I've known Armory now for about six years. And, and we've developed a great friendship. And, you know, we talk all the time. <laughs> and, you know, the first opportunity I'm going to have where we can actually get together and hang out. And we're going to actually be distanced from each other. And we're like, you know, probably sit like 10 or 15 feet away and go, hey, how you doing? You know, or maybe just calling each other on the phone when we're there. Who knows? But I, I don't know. I, I just, I really don't care. You know, be just nice to, to meet Armor Time in person again. You know, and, it's, and, and in his city too. Because he's lived in Toronto for years. And uh, I, I, I have a strong love for that city. Mind you, you know, no, Montreal is not a slouch as far as the city. I mean, I'm not bitching and moaning, but um, I spent some of my childhood living in Toronto, and I've lived in Ontario a number of times. So it was always home where I came back to. Uh, you know, and my son lives there. You know, there is that. So I mean, I have a, a very large and good reason to want to go to the city. Um, you know, and that's the other thing too is I got to try to organize a visit with my boy, which is going to be amazing. Well, I mean, again, another socially distanced, you know, hang out with my boy. Because, again, when I'm traveling, I, you know, I'm going to be as cautious and careful as it can be. But you never know, right? So I would hate to get something while traveling and then people that I care about that I want to see end up getting the mail. That's the last fucking thing I want to do. So I have made a conscious decision not to. As much as it sucks, I'm going to maintain that. And then, like I said, when I get back, it's going to be lock myself in for a couple of weeks and bye bye You know? Which, again, it's fine. I've done that a number of times. I just got to make sure I have food in advance. So that when I come home, I don't have to worry about going grocery shopping or anything. I just come home, crawl in, and then I get to go back to work. Um, which is going to be good. So that's going to be a bit of a change. I'm going... Um, this week I was asked if I would be interested in helping out with another department. It's going to be a temporary thing. Uh, to which I, of course, said sure. Um, you know, I'm that guy that doesn't mind helping. You know, if it's nothing necessary. You know, benefits folks and, you know, if people don't want to do it. You know, I'm the guy that says sure. I'm, I've always been that guy. You know, I've, I don't, I'm not afraid of change or I'm not afraid of, you know, taking on different responsibilities or anything. I'm fine with it. I mean, I actually kind of revel in it in all truth. I mean, I, I'm the guy that, you know, looks forward to change. It's one of the reasons that I moved back to Canada from Florida. I mean, everyone thinks I'm an idiot here. It's like, oh, why did you leave Florida? And I'm like, well, until you've lived there, I mean... Sure, there's a lot of great things there, but there's a lot of amazing things here, too. Right? And so you, you kind of love and appreciate the things around you. But, I mean, it doesn't mean you don't love, you know, you, you can't love a city or you can't love a place. And I've always had a thing for for Toronto. But, yeah, I mean, like, the, like I said, the change has always been a good thing for me. Like, I've never really been afraid of the change. Here, I'm going to take you out with that. How do you like that, you jerk? Jerky jerk jerk. You think you're gonna wreck my day? But that. Okay, you poison me a little bit. Th that hurts a bit. But that that hurts you more than it hurt me. And now we just go up here and wreck everything. We got I think we got enough gold to uh, cover the flights that I've taken. <laughs> which is delightful. Um hey, hey, hey. Go away. Okay, I caught that one in time. And there was another dude. I saw him sneaking around the back here. Hi. Before he could poke his head out officially, anything I did, I did him dirty. So, um, on the channel yesterday, uh, I had Octopath Traveler appear on the channel. Uh, it unlocked on Xbox Game Pass for PC. I know it was a Switch exclusive at first, and then it was on Steam, and then finally available on PC on uh, the Windows through... Uh, through that, and I'm very excited to have played it. Um, loved playing it. It was a delightful little game. Very challenging, um, but it's it's a good challenge, and I'm fine with it. My biggest issue is, like most games that um, I love playing, there's complications, and the complication with this one sucked. Um, so, just to uh, notify you guys, you may have seen ads on it. You may not have. 
um, I had a copyright claim on my video. Um, and it was, again, for the same shit that I've had to deal with for years whenever this kind of stuff hits. And it's, you know, somebody has made a claim that they own the, the visual rights to a battle. So the last battle scene, somebody had claimed it, and it's going through Warner Brothers. And I'm like, you know, I'm not going to argue it. I'm not going to fight it. But... I'm just not putting this on my fucking channel again. So if you if you wanted to see more Octopath Traveler, um, uh, yeah, I, there's no justified reason to put it on the channel. Um, I you, you do this because you love it and you want you know a little bit extra revenue. But why am I going to dedicate that much of my time and energy to a game that I won't be able to reap any benefits from? Mind you, yes, sure. Um, I don't have to pay for the game. It's included with the game pass, so I still have to pay for the pass. But, uh, yeah. So, as much as I wanted to play more of it, it's not going to be coming on the channel. I might do one more video and see if I get another claim on it. Um, could have been just a one-off. Um, still not a happy camper with it. And I was thinking of editing the video back again, but I'm doing these videos the night before. And that would have meant, you know redoing a bunch of stuff and re-editing and re-uploading and I'm like nope nope I'm fine I will just let it sit uh, they allowed for them to monetize it so I'm letting somebody else make money off of it on my channel so um, if you want to see more of it by all means let me know um, but understand that I, I'm, I'm not I'm not excited about it and that sucks um, I'll, I'll still play the game. I mean, it's fun. The challenge is there. But, again, you know, uh, my my enthusiasm has waned considerably. But, mind you, uh, there was a game came on sale yesterday on Steam. But I had it on my wish list and eyeballed it more than once. And it's a game from my, my past. Um, so, it's... Uh, cro Oh, dear God. Did I get Chrono Cross or Chrono Trigger? Chrono Trigger, I think it is. Dear God, I always get them confused because, like, I've played both. I think it's Chrono Trigger. Um, and it, basically it was available on Steam, 10 bucks. And I was kind of, like I said, I was excited about Octopath Traveler. I'm like, well, maybe I'll get into that, you know? And uh, so that could rear its head here on the channel, which would be fun. Um... But yeah, I've had um, people ask about control, if that's going to be maintaining on the channel. Uh, if you watched the last episode I had, you may have seen that I had some issues. Um, my computer melted, in essence. Um, I literally smelt burnt plastic from it when I was um, making that video. Um, that scared me, I'm not going to lie. Um, the computer is still together. It won't be for much longer. It is getting gutted. Um, and I decided to hold off on doing that big change until I'm back from my trip. And, uh, yeah. So I'm like, nope. I'm, I just don't need to deal with it. So I'm like, okay. So control is gone for a, a hot minute. Now, mind you, there is always another option with that. And that could be that um, it is available on the Xbox. So I may... Play it on the Xbox and record it, and then just uh, bring that, you know, do the record. Bleh. Play on the Xbox and record it for my channel from OBS, you know, using the capture card. So that's still an option too. But again, it's something I'm not going to do at the moment because I have packed my Xbox up for traveling because I haven't really played much of it in the last little while. So, you know, part of my cleaning is, you know, packing my Xbox up for going on my trip because it's small. And I've already packed my bag. Yes, I'm that guy. I packed my bag well and truly in advance. I've set up my laptop as a DJ station as well. And a rendering rig. So all this out of like a five or six year old laptop. It's going to stink. Trying to do any of this from it. But I might. You know, I could, I could stream my uh, my um, DJ stream next Saturday from, from the city. I might. I mean, you never know. It could be a thing. It may or may not be. It's okay. Um, okay, that was a thing over here, right? There is a thing there. So we got all the mana pumps done. That That's a... Okay. I love when that happens. Because again, E 
to rule them all. The one one key to bind them. Ah, <sighs> Wally. Um, but yeah, so... I'm excited. I, I'm not gonna lie. I have three more shifts at work before I, I get to go on trip. Um, I don't think I've been this excited in years. Um, I think the last time I actually had a fun vacation uh, was with my ex girlfriend and we went to Cuba together and it was a fun trip um, I should have recognized the warning signs <laughs> with the relationship during that trip but uh, you know uh, bliss and stupid uh, ruled the day and ended up becoming one of the um, worst relationships of my entire fucking life that I just you, there's things you regret in life and you know and just w when you don't match and it, there's there's no meshing it just oh you wonder why the stupid crawls into your brain and I you know I, I think that probably was partially like almost like a midlife crisis of trying to get into a relationship when I was in my 40s going well you know this could be the one this could be the thing and you know you kind of look past a bunch of bullshit and the warning signs about, you know, how you're really not compatible and you just ignore it. So, you know, not saying anything negative or nasty about her. I, I'm just stating that simple fact that it was not a positive relationship. And like I said, I should have recognized it for what it was well and truly before it got to the point where it was. Which, you know, regrettable. But hey, you know, you live, you learn, right? So, um, but yeah, I'm... Uh, that that vacation was a lot of fun, and um, I'm looking forward to this one a lot more. So I'm like I said, it's going to be whew, so good, so good. Okay, which is weird because I'm going to a city that I know very well. So it's not like I'm going on a place that I've never been to before. Which is usually when you go on vacation, you go someplace that you know either you like it's a vacation area, like you you go there on vacation. It's you know, you've never been there before. Something you've always wanted to see. There's like museums or things. It's always something. But for me, this time it's just like, yeah, I'm gonna go and, you know, go to Kensington Market because it's a place that I've been to a hundred times and I love it there. <laughs> you know. But oh man, all of the I gotta see. Like, I'm not too sure what the rules and regulations are for uh, dining. I'm pretty sure that there is no indoor dining in Toronto as of yet, which is fine. I'm not planning on doing any of that anyway. I am planning on getting takeout and sitting outside in parks and things or under awnings if it's really poor weather. <laughs> Taking advantage of it. But yeah, there's so many, so much food I want to try again. Oh my god. Just the, oh, the sushi too. Oh, there's so many good sushi places. And that's going to be hard too because I, there was a couple of all-you-can-eat places that I used to love that I'm like, that would be so good right now. But I don't know if you can do outdoors all you can eat. Unless they have like an outdoor dining, which is, I heard, is a thing that is very popular. Which could be kind of fun. Go down to the Ont to Lake Ontario. That's going to be fun. I love walking on the lake. The cool breeze from the lake. Oh my god. That's like my favorite feeling. Oh, look at that. Another bag of gold. I'm rambling for a bag of gold. Let me go. Let go of me, birds. I'm walking. Let me. Let me go. Are you good? Let me go, dear God. You're sitting over here for like five minutes. Ta-da! Well, I think we did a lot today. I think this was busy. Two mana pumps and a altar. I'd consider that to be a productive day. I wish that um, the original mana pump that we did, even though we did good, I wish it had been as simple as those last two. The last one especially. Oh my God, it was beautiful. Uh, this haunted woods is where we were going to go to next and our uh, adventures next week which i'm hoping i'll have a video monday for you <laughs> you never know i could completely uh you know tear apart my computer and put it in boxes before i leave that, that's entirely likely as well but anyway hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you all very very soon in our next one take care everybody bye-bye this is a song for all the